namaste welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl i'm so happy to be back oh your love life is literally being transformed whenever you're seeing this someone is thinking of you so deeply that they're going through some sort of spiritual metamorphosis <laughs> And the reason I know this is because they got me up late at night doing a reading. I just literally felt guided to do this. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm usually in bed by now. Um, there could be some real serious thoughts on this person's mind about commitment and wanting to take your relationship to the next level if you've already been in a connection or relationship with this person and you've been around them or maybe you're even married to them they could be wanting to renew vows with you or honestly just reflecting on how many cycles that you've been through with them <laughs> This just this person has been looking for whoever this is that you're calling in, whoever this is that's already in your life, they've been manifesting you. And I'm just hearing I've I've been through one bad relationship after the next. And I swear to God, like you have to be the one. Because you've changed me so much. If you are living in your truth. And you know for a fact that you want to be married, you want to be, you want to find your soulmate, you want to be in a connection, you want to be in a relationship, you want things to work out with this person, your heart is hurting right now, you could just be feeling like, man, I, I feel so alone, like, this person doesn't get me. This is just a cycle that's taking place. You're going to be back with this person. Your heart's going to heal from any sort of trauma, torment. I'm just getting the vibe that you guys have been on your best behavior. Most of my viewers are super high vibrational. So that I know for a fact. Your vibe is so high. The separation is coming to an end. If this is a long distance relationship, this person literally, they just cannot take being away from you any longer. Look at that bottom of the deck energy decisions and choices. They know that some sort of separation, this, this could be long distance. This could also be financial imbalances. They know that someone's going to have to relocate. That's what I'm really getting. And be open and honest about their financial situation and be a little bit more vulnerable there is a choice that's on the line and, and this person like they're deep down they're truly hoping they know you have a lot on your shoulders and they're just like oh please 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 if you can't choose me look at that bottom of the deck for some of you if you are on this twin flame journey yes Yes, this could be your twin flame. And they are thinking about you. You are right. You are seeing those signs and synchronicities. You are picking up on telepathic communication with them. Yes, this person is missing you. Someone needs to hear this right now that, you know, your twin flame is not running from you. It's an illusion, bro. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. All right. So let's just, let's tap into, let's get some tarot and see. Actually, I want to use these over here and just kind of see what's, what's going on before we get into the tarot. I'm definitely getting the vibe that some of you could be dealing with a Libra sun, moon, rising, Virgo sun, moon, rising. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh. Someone is literally legit. They're stuck in their head over you. 
11th house energy, I literally just said that, numerology, 9, 10, 11, okay? Aquarius energy, doesn't have to be an Aquarius, but there is this energy of, I never thought that this could happen. You, 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 you. <laughs> is it too early in the morning to say you fucked the game up? It's like, you switched the game up on them. They never thought they could be on lockdown. Yes, this person was trying to hide. They were trying to hide or wear a mask with you. I'm seeing the seven of swords in my third eye, right? So that's Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. It doesn't have to be. Um, they were trying to hide who they actually truly were. And this person is actually way, way more... Um, sexually um, attracted to you. They, they, this person is very okay. For example, it's like they were they were like, oh, you know, you know, I'm not. I don't want to have. You know, <laughs> kind of sounds like me. No sex before marriage, no love. But this person is like a real freak. You know what I mean? Like when they're in a relationship and when they're like they and they they think about this quite often. Sex is like is on their mind especially about you i'm just saying this person wants you to be one they're trying to crack crack some sort of code of of like how do you do things like there's something about the way you finesse situations and it's like I'm also getting that they feel like you can see straight through them. So take it how it resonates. Adjudication. Someone is really, really afraid of alimony. It's like, it, it could be, for some of you I'm hearing, like you could be dealing with someone who was married before and they're going through a divorce. And it's just like, it's so, so much work. And they might, it might not, it might seem like to you that they don't want to get this done. They don't want to like end this and they, they don't want to be with you. But they do. They really want to be with you. Honestly, they feel stuck. They feel so stuck. Hopefully this isn't someone who's actually in in present okay i hope not but i do get the vibe that this is a mental being away from you not being able to be with you if that is the case and also hiding something from you that they know they're going to be judged for and they're really really afraid that you're going to cut them off for good this person thinks about you so much and i love how it kind of fell right under this uh decisions and choices this person wants to ch choose you at every turn. I'm getting that you make this person stutter. This could definitely be someone who's quite creative. They could be really good with their hands. So this could be any sort of painter, artist, musician, hairstylist. Definitely someone who is visually creative in some sort of way. This person thinks about you a lot and they, they are constantly feeling like you guys match on so many levels. It's like check mark, check mark, check mark. You match. You're just my freaking match. That's what I'm hearing. How do I get to you? How do I navigate through these cycles? Okay, so the cycles, this karmic cycles, someone here has some sort of baggage. Someone has some fear of abandonment. All of these issues need to come up for healing in order for you to get it to get closer to this choice or this decision. Now, let's get to the tarot. Let's see what this person is and what are they choosing to do with you yes Ooh, i love it okay that was not supposed to happen that way so this is about to be a real live reading all right so the world card this person wants to go through many many moon cycles with you like we have karmic cycles and then we have the world card twice um Yes, they're making a list and they're checking it twice. Some of you could be getting some really interesting jewelry and um, quite possibly a two carat, two and a half carat diamond ring. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm not even kidding. We have the world card. Some of you could have met this person online. They're definitely watching you online. If you have any way that they can see you or view your work or see what you do or look you up or look your family up, they're 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 making a list. They're checking it twice. Some of you, this could be fixed sign energy. Could be Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, in the world card. Yeah, I'm getting a vibe like it's something about you being really intuitive. So whatever you're putting on display, it's intuitively inflating this person's sense of self. They're they're just like, mm, I know I'm this shit. <laughs> I hate to say. I don't know. I like a confident person. So if if you if that offends you, I, I'm not gonna tell you how to feel. I'm not gonna tell you how to feel. But I like, I like, I like confident. I like confident men. I love confident men. I love when they know who they are. Yeah, this person is really afraid that maybe you walked away, and or maybe you would, maybe you would walk away now for some of you i'm really really picking up a vibe that there was maybe another person involved but this person was just pretending like this person was like i'm gonna go over there you're gonna do that i'm gonna go i'm gonna go fuck them i'm gonna go you don't want to do this and hey Depending on the zodiac sign, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, depending on that sign. I'm just saying someone is definitely afraid that you actually really did do something when you didn't do it. So if you feel like you need to tell them, oh, I didn't do anything. Like, I've been around. Like, I've just been waiting. I just said that to make you mad. They don't trust you. They have major trust issues. But at the end of the day, I do feel like they would forgive you if you wanted to circle back, piggyback into their life. I don't get that this person, this person also wants to give you more space than necessary. But in the back of their mind, they're really hoping that you'll stay. They're really hoping that you're the one. I'm getting that this person is ready to settle down. And for some of you, they could feel like maybe you maybe you're just maybe you're not into them. If if this resonates with you, definitely let me know. And I'm telling you the truth, you guys, you really are creating your own reality. So make sure that maybe you write this down in the comments. I know that I'm living in a simulation therefore i am creating the best reality of all time okay <laughs> because this communication the way that you speak whatever you say happens and this person feels like they maybe you told them to go away maybe you told them you weren't interested maybe you told them that they're taking too long maybe you just didn't say anything but i'm getting the vibe that you really have been working this situation and you've been manifesting this person and it's exactly who you want to be with. However, this person, they just don't like to argue. So if you feel guided, if, if there were arguments or fights or insecurities, this, this person wants you to be co confident, even though they could very well be in secure and i'm getting that especially if it's a masculine he's really in tune with his feminine energy and you know sometimes that can be really difficult right to be a masculine experiencing feminine emotions <laughs> i'm sorry uh, like where were you at last night where are you you're about to see this person really tell you yeah look at that 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 you're about to see this person really tell you like i feel like um you should be at home at such and such and such time they're gonna be like i don't like your co-workers I'm kind of into someone who's a little bit possessive, you know, but I don't know about this whole feminine, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do want to get some cards and see how are they feeling about you. Let's flip this deck and see if we can get some 
We're going to use another deck and see if we can get some, some confirmations. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't someone that you guys broke up with and it's on again, off again. That could be the case. I know that that's difficult and it's hard, but just make sure that you're standing firm on your affirmations. Look at that again. Eight of Cups. This person definitely, they don't want you to walk away. They really don't. It would break this person's heart into a gazillion pieces. Way more than a million. Like, I don't even know if that's... <laughs> it would just crush them. It would crush them. It would crush them. It would crush them. If you did leave, this person still loves you. They still have love for you. You might feel like it's unrequited. You might feel like it's over, but it's not over. It's definitely, because I'm hearing that in my head, it's not over between you and me. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. This person cried over you because at the end of the day, it's like, I've never been obsessed with nobody the way that I am with you. Like, they're constantly trying to, like, talk themselves out of actually feeling, like, messed up, you know? Like, sad. Like, broken. Especially if this is a masculine energy. It's just like, baby. Why don't you want to accept my offer? Something about what they're offering you, the timing could be off, or something about maybe what you, you have been pouring into them. It seems like they're not interested in you, but that's an illusion. This person is. They are. And the reason I'm saying that is because we got the devil reversed. We do have this Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Cups. It's still here. It just, you, you can't see it because... The pentacle is in the middle, and it's like the grind, the hustle of life, the I gotta I gotta be on my shit, I gotta get my money, I gotta get my paper. That type of energy could be coming in, and it could be on both of you guys' part, you know? This is just a vibe where it's like, this person's, they're into you. They're just focused. <laughs> on the end okay they're focused in the end and so don't let those illusions kind of get in your way right so that's why my favorite affirmation you guys can write this down and make it real i do everything right even when i don't know what i'm doing okay <laughs> period that's how you start making really smart decisions and really smart choices so yeah if this person came off really defensive maybe as some some event or a party or if they're just coming off and it's like you're being lighthearted you're coming off defensive just give this situation some time i definitely feel like it's worth it it's worth the effort because this person wants to live in their truth they don't want to hide anymore and i know for sure that you're watching this because you obviously feel the same way right now let's get some cards and see if you've been dealing with this person and it's been on a on again off again or it's new or you're manifesting them we are going to to get some love messages you know we're just gonna tap right on in and see what they want to say to you right now something that will definitely resonate to give you some clarity guys if you like this don't forget to press like share subscribe comment click the notification bell it really helps me so much when you do that what do they want to say the person on your mind what do they want to say i fucked up i don't know what to say to you or how to make this right so When someone's when someone apologizes, are, are they actually changing? I get the vibe that this person definitely wants to change because we have a lot of physical, tangible things that are coming in here. Like for some of you, I'm, I'm legit not not kidding. You could literally be getting engaged. You could be getting the ring. You could be your relationship, your connection could be going to the next level because they want to offer you something solid because they're just so afraid. That if they don't, you're going to go fuck somebody else. That's what I'm hearing. And it's it's kind of wild. Like, this person's kind of like, 
that's like their worst nightmare even though they know that's a reality if you're not together they just can't handle that they don't want that okay i ghosted you because it was getting too intense i don't let people in my life easily because i have trust issues i've been saying that from the beginning of this reading maybe you needed to let this person go let them run especially if it is you think it's a twin flame situation is you cannot you cannot do that you know you can definitely reach out to your twin flame telepathically you can pray for them you can send them positive energy they will feel that energy but if they want to act a fool and ghost you let them let them run I want a second chance not being with you is killing me so I'm getting that this is in this lifetime this could be in a past life for some of you you have shared past lives with this person they feel this unique bond and connection with you and this time they want to do it right they're tired of the separation they're tired of not feeling aligned with you so I would say yes if you want to give this person a second chance why not they feel like you're different they feel like you're not like anyone else that they've ever been with you'd literally throw this person off of their their train of thought you throw their train of thought off I keep looking at your pics and not to mention the videos we made. OMG, I will never delete them. If you never made any pics or anything with this person, that's fine. They're looking at your photos. They're looking at you online. They're constantly looking at you. And it's because they want a second chance. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, you guys were married within two to three months. Three to six months. That's the wave. That's the vibe that's coming through for you. For some of you, this person really wants to say, Yes, they were cheating. Yes, they messed up. They did. They did something really bad. And it, it really had to do with like their family. I didn't I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. So this person they could just be used to dating. A specific group or a specific type of person or ethnic group and it's like they went there but they didn't tell you and it's like oh doesn't matter forgive them if you feel like that's what you are guided to, to, to do because they are going through a lot at this time I kind of want to give you guys some advice from the pocket angels this is just gonna be overall general advice what does your pocket angels want you to know because I'm getting the vibe that you're the angels yes the blissful energies of the universe are surrounding you with so much love and they want you to know other people look up to you maybe you have younger siblings or friends or even mature but yeah work on positive positive affirmations so like I was mentioning before about making your robotic affirmations repeating your story the way that you want it to be I always get what I want or even better every single time it never fails write that down make that real okay you can write that in the comments okay so don't forget work on positive affirmations some of you have already been doing that and you are starting to see the fruits of your labor and they're just saying keep going keep going keep going don't let others stand in your way oh my goodness don't let others stand in your way other people can easily lower your vibrational frequency just from like little nitpicky conversations talking about other people gossiping there are dark forces and entity entities all around but they don't have to be close to you okay you can literally live the life that you want to live you can be around the people that you want to be around people that are toxic and that are low vibrational and that are draining as fuck, you can let them go don't 
let them set in your way because I definitely get my grandma used to say you know you have 90 you have only 10% of life's problems to deal with but 90% of it comes from other people you are ready you are ready. They want you to know that you're ready for something. You're ready for this knowledge. You're ready for this journey. You're ready for this trip. You're ready for this transformation. You are ready for this Saturn direct in Pisces on November 15th energy. Okay. You are ready. You're ready. You're ready. 